friends back again with another quick easy premiere tutorial hope you guys are having a good summer so far a lot of you are probably working on a lot of big projects this summer a lot of new stuff a lot more stuff so wish you guys luck with that hopefully this will help just a quick little easy thing within premiere like i said i'm going to be showing you a glow invert transition so as always, if you guys are new here, make sure you subscribe, join the community. If you do enjoy the video, please leave a like, helps the growth a huge amount. Anyways, let me show you exactly what I'm talking about when I mean glow invert transition. So I have a lot of different videos on my channel showing you guys some cool transition stuff like that. I just want to give you guys more of an arsenal for you guys to use. So if you want, you can save the video on a playlist whenever you're working on a project and you're just thinking of an effect or a transition to put in, you can check out this video. You can customize it however you want. You can change it up however you want. As you saw in the beginning, I had some different variations of it. So I'm going to go ahead and find the exact place where that transition happens by just using my arrow keys to move frame by frame so right there and I'm gonna click Control K just to make a cut okay so we have our cut right about there now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to take my cursor and I'm gonna move back a bit and it's up to you how far you would like to move back this is just gonna determine how long your glow is going to take place so I'm gonna move back to about here right near the beginning of the clip and I'm gonna go ahead and add a glow effect onto this so if you guys do need these glow or invert effects there's a few ways you can go about doing this you can go ahead and pick up some plugins I've talked about a bunch of them red giant has a lot of good plugins Sapphire has a lot of good plugins. If you guys are looking for a cheaper option, what you could do is you can check out my website. I have a glow preset as well as I have an invert preset, which is for free. The glow presets in my effects pack 2.0. So if you're interested in that, links down below. Or you guys could always just look up some more tutorials, find out how you can just build this from scratch. There's a lot of useful information out there. Link below some of my tutorials as well as a tutorial from Just No D Show talking about how to make a glow effect for you guys to learn that there. Just so we can save some time and just focus on the transition and not really building the effects. Hey okay guys, so now that we've got the area cut out where we want to apply this glow effect what I'm gonna do is just select the area between our cut just like this I'm gonna hold down alt and I'm just gonna drag up to duplicate it like that now what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna select these clips right click and then nest them just to keep them together just to make it a little bit easier and this is the clip that we're going to apply our glow preset onto so now what I'm gonna do is just look up the glow preset and I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop that onto there and like I said you guys can look up any tutorial you can use any other plugin for this doesn't matter which way you do want to use the glow so I'll drop that on there and now what I'm going to do is just drag to the middle where this little cut is like that. I'm just going to bump up all these settings so that the glow is kind of like overwhelming. We want it to be really glowed at the middle. We want it to be kind of like this bright light because it's only going to happen for a second. And that's really what's going to sell the transition, which you guys are going to see in just a second. So I'll just bump up the whites crazy amount. It, it doesn't matter if it's this kind of distorted. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Lumetri color in my effect controls right there. And we can just drag down. Let's go into basic correction and you're going to see all your Lumetri settings right there. Let's go ahead and just keyframe all of those just like that. And then we're going to drag back like this. Let's click on our nested clip. And there's a reason why we're doing this to a duplication and not an adjustment layer. For some reason, there's a bug whenever you do keyframes on an adjustment layer. So normally I would just apply it to an adjustment layer, but in this case, I'm just going to be duplicating the clips and applying it to the nested sequence right here. So what we're going to do is now that we have this keyframed, I'm just going to bump down. I'm going to bump down these settings so that it's not as overwhelming, just like that. And now that we have made this keyframe, you guys are going to see we have this nice smooth animation. It starts normal and then it just kind of expands into this nice crazy glow color that kind of matches the motion of when he goes like this. Now we're going to go to the end of where we want the glowing to stop right about there. And we're going to bring this back down so that it's normal again like this. And I dropped the exposure. That's the easiest way to do it. If you want, you can also drop any of the other settings. But if you just want to affect the brightness, I'm just going to be using the exposure as a keyframe right there. So this is the animation that we just created through the keyframes. We got this crazy glowing starting up right when he cuts and it gets to the maximum part of the glow kind of like the climax of the glow it starts going back and fading into normal just like that and of course if you want this kind of glowing to be a little bit slower or faster you can always adjust the keyframes if you drag them in closer it's going to be faster as as you see right there and if you drag them out more it's going to be slower as you guys can see right there and kind of like fade out more okay so that is the glowing part of it now let's just add the little invert so what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag back to the middle where i made my cut and what i'm going to do is i'm going to use my arrow keys i'm going to click to the left twice so just two frames over like that and i'm going to select both of these and i'm going to make another cut let's go back to the middle so right twice one two and then two frames to the right again so one two on our arrow keys and then let's go ahead and make a cut just like that now what i'm going to do is just select the duplication which has our glow as well as our just base footage like this and i'm just going to nest that just to keep it together this spot right here is where we're going to add that quick little invert flash 
So let's go back to our effects library. And like I said, I'm going to leave a link down below if you do want a quick little drag and drop preset kind of black and white invert that I created. If not, you can follow the tutorial step by step to make your own or recreate something better using the steps that I talked about in that video. So check out the links if you are interested. Let's go ahead and look up inverts in our effects library. And like I said, these presets are free. So right here, free silhouette effects, max Novak darkness invert. Let's place that on our clip like that. And you're going to see it's just a little bit too intense. So we can just bump down the exposure. Okay, guys, so here's what we got. I'll play that through for you and quick little and a cool, just quick little invert flash, just like that. And the reason why I make it two frames in each direction for the flash is, is, is it's just something really quick. It's something that's really going to catch your eye. And it's something that's really cool for a high energy part like this, where it goes like that. You have the glowing and then it just kind of throws you off with a quick little invert and then switches you over to the next scene and then fades away just like that. So I think it's a cool little transition. Of course, like I said, there's there's so many different ways you can customize this. You can add any, you can add in any other effects like I showed you in the beginning. So for example, if I just get rid of the glow layer for where I want the invert to be, and then I apply invert only to our base footage, it's not gonna look as smudgy as I just showed you. So let me show you what that looks like. This is without the glow over that base layer. I think that actually looks better if you just apply the invert without any of the glowing. I think that looks really sick. So that's cool little variation of it right there. Like I said, so many ways you can customize this. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys are new here, please consider joining the community. We have regular content. I just got back from a trip from LA, so I just got a bunch of footage for you guys, putting it all together for something really cool for you guys to enjoy and check out. Anyways, guys, like I said, enjoy your summer so far. If you guys need help creating anything, if you guys need any new tricks for the projects you're working on, always free to stop by the channel. Check out any of the tutorials we got in some of the playlists. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.